Okay, let me show you what we got going here today. This right here is, uh, I got a code P0406 uh, for the EGR valve. Basically, it's saying the current's too high. Um, I did some research on it, plus read the live data, and I came back with changing out the uh, EGR valve. It is a, a, a lot of work, actually, but it's not something that, that cannot be done at home. You just got to take your time and, and know what needs to be uh, removed in order to get it, to get at it. But you also really need to know where it's at. It's in a really bad position for uh, um, for the say a guy that just changes oil and brakes on his vehicle, um, but it's not super difficult. Um, basically, it, it's about a two to three hour job, depending on your skill level. Um, at the same time that I'm gonna replace this EGR valve, see it's here in the back. I've got my finger on it. Um, Here's a connector for it. There's the uh, EVAP uh, purge valve right here. It had to be moved out of the way. Um, I did have to remove the intake. Uh, the EGR valve is really connects pretty simple, but you kind of got to feel for the bolts. See, it sits on the engine sort of like, uh, like this. So you got one 10 millimeter right here. And one over here so you can get to it with the with this 10 millimeter and a, maybe a short extension I used my air ratchet on it that's the second bolt just to show you what it looks like see there's a second bolt it kind of just sits up in there You do need to remove the intake manifold and also there's this crossbar that crossbar right there um, once you get it out of the way you can uh, remove the intake the crossbar is held on by a couple of uh, here's one of the computers right here I'm not sure what that one's for but anyways the, the bolts right here you got to remove all the little plastic pop rivets I started to remove the uh, windshield wiper blades, but I decided, you know what, I just pulled it up a little bit and I was able to squeeze it out of there, so I'll put the windshield wipers back on it. That wasn't necessary. Um, over here on this side, there's this bracket uh, that holds the uh, intake manifold in place. Um, it's got a couple 10 millimeters right here. Down here are 15 millimeter bolts. You don't have to remove them all the way. You just got to get it to where you can pivot this back and forth. Same on this side. It has two of them over here. Make them so they can pivot uh, back and forth. You got plugs. When you pop these plugs out, see it's got a little plastic, uh, little red thing here. You just got to pop it back. And then there's like a little trigger right here that you use to uh, put some pressure on it. And then you can get those to pop out. If it doesn't release, let's see if you can see in there. You could stick a little screwdriver in there and help it along a little bit. Anyway, so you got one, two, three, four, five plugs. You got hoses in the back. Uh, you got another crankcase vent hose over here. This thing twists into here. I just pulled it out just to give me a little bit more uh, room there. Um, hose, hose, hose. This is where the EGR uh, valve tube goes. Um, you got all these 10 millimeter bolts here. That's what secures it to the intake manifold. Here's the other side. You can see the two little stubs on there that uh, secure it to the rods that hold it in place. Same on this side. You got a electrical connection there. Um, your transmission dipstick. 
you have to wiggle it around in order to get to get it out of the way um, it's not really too much there once you get that intake off it's smooth sailing uh, another thing that I was going to suggest to you since you went through all the trouble of pulling the intake off um, spark plugs on this vehicle uh, usually they'll cost you at least 300 bucks to change them out if you take it to a shop but if you uh, purchase uh, spark plugs yourself they're like four bucks for some champions uh, I believe the original equipment spark plugs on this vehicle are champions or at least they used to be on Chrysler products so you want to pull these uh, the coils out six of them there more 10 millimeter bolts pop those out um, change out your spark plugs just get it done I mean plan on spending at least uh, you know three four four hours tops on it but you'll be saving yourself a lot of money there um, this particular EGR valve I picked it up on Amazon it was probably like 50 bucks not expensive uh, spark plugs were like five bucks each so that's 30 50 so 80 bucks in a half a day you're done all right well just want to show you where that sucker was at um, like I say it's not real difficult just be patient with it make sure you disconnect everything that needs to be disconnected make sure you remove the uh, cross member there um, there's some wiring that's connected to it just kind of wiggle everything around and get it out of there again with this one here this connects right here get that out of the way just relocate it um, that's it all right well have a great day